Hello, this is Dan Bashenbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm going to show you how to use a Firefox plugin called Firefog to convert MP4 video file formats to a WebM format, which is used in the new HTML5 coding. First thing you do is bring up your Firefox browser and then go to firefog.org and it'll ask you to install Firefog. So click on the Firefog, click allow, click on install, and then you have to restart your Firefox browser. So click on restart now. So then it comes back and it says that Firefog is installed. So come over here and click on Make Web Video. And then you can select the file from your computer. So I had previously created a directory called WebM. So I'll go in there and I have a demo MP4 file there. So I will click that, click on Open. And it'll automatically extract the information from the file telling you that it's a 1280 by 720 H.264 stereo and the size. And it's going to be converted to a WebM VP8 slash Vorbis format. And it's preset to 720p. Now you could click on encode at this point. But what I like about this plugin is it allows you to change a lot of the different features if you want. So if you click on advanced options, the default format is set to WebM, which is what I want. If you wanted to change your video size, you could do that right here. Let's say I want to change it to 720 by 480. Frame rate, let's say I want to go with 30 and aspect ratio let's go 16.9 uh, because it's a high def video we'll go 16 colon 9 for the bit rate we're going to use 2300 that's a standard format that plays on all devices quality we're going to go with 10 get the best quality and then the key frame interval i'm going to leave that blank and let the tool set that up for me and for the pass encoding, I'm going to click on two pass encoding to get a better result. And then for the audio, make sure that's turned on. And this isn't a stereo device, so I'm going to, for channels, I'm going to select mono. And then for the sample rate, I'm going to select 22,050 hertz, reduce the file size a little bit, and I can click on encode. and it'll put it in the same directory that the original mp4 was we call demo.webm click on save and you can see it encoding now so when the video is done encoding it automatically brings it up for you to play so I'll click on the play button in that webm directory here's my original mp4 file Here's my new converted WebM file. And then I created a README here that shows you a little bit of HTML code to get it in an HTML5 format that you could display it on a web page. So if you use this code here, you would get that information. Now, what I did is I saved this file from a Word doc to a file called index.html. So now if I click on the HTML, index.html, it takes me here and I have a player underneath here that I encoded. I click on the README again. I put here video controls. This line here is what put in, put in the player bar down here. So now if I click on play, it now plays with inside my embedded web player. Alright, so I hope you found that useful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.